Today, we're diving into an efficient way to create realistic water droplets using Blender's geometry nodes, perfect for enhancing any object in your project with that wet, fresh look. First up, have an object at the ready that will showcase the water droplets. Then, bring a plane into your scene with Shift A, Mesh, then Plane, and head over to the Geometry Nodes editor at the top. Create a new node setup and name it Water Droplets. Now let's start building. Press Shift plus A to open the menu and select Object Info. This is where you'll link the object you want to embellish with water droplets. Add your object here. Make sure to set it to Relative for proper placement. Next, pull a node from Geometry and find Distribute Points on Faces. Switch the distribution method to Poison Disk. This lets you adjust the minimum distance between points for a more natural look. Set the density max to around 100, or whatever suits your model best. Now let's create the droplets. Pull out of points and find instance on points. And then from instance, bring in a UV sphere. If the droplets look too large, reduce the UV sphere's radius. 0.01 worked for us, but you can adjust this size. To achieve the droplet shape, link mesh on your UV sphere to transform geometry, adjusting the Z scale to about 1.4 for that elongated droplet look. Feel free to experiment here. For droplets to follow the object's curvature, connect the points on faces rotation output to the add node and connect that to the rotation on the instance on points node and set the value to 1.5 for a natural tilt. Adjust if necessary based on your object's orientation. Droplets shouldn't be uniform in size, so let's fix that. From scale on instance on points, Drag out random value to introduce size variation. Aim for a minimum of 0.5 and a maximum of 2. To optimize performance, add Realize Instances. Then for smoothness, use Set Shade Smooth, followed by Set Material to transform the spheres into convincing water droplets. Finally, connect everything to the group output. Let's create a quick material to make these blobs look a little more like water. On your plane you created, create a new material named water, opting for glass BSDF under surface type. Adjust the roughness to mimic water's texture. Now back in the geometry nodes editor, assign this material to complete the effect. That's it. This works with both EV and cycles. If you prefer EV for speed, make sure you do the following. Enable screen space reflections and then screen space refractions in your material settings, you can improve your glass material to look more like water. For EV, also turn on contact shadows for all lights in your scene to enhance shadow depth. And that's it. A straightforward method to add dynamic water droplets to any object in Blender. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and are inspired to experiment with geometry nodes in your projects. See you in the next tutorial.